Okay, here we're going to have a look at a question that asks us to create a binomial expansion for 3x plus 2y to the power 4. Before we start this expansion, it's worth talking about the general formula that can be found in the IB formula booklet. That is the formula you'll see, and this illustrates that we have powers of A, powers of B, and these NC1, NCR coefficients running through that. Let me explain that a little bit further. Um, our binomial expansion generally, two elements, an A and a B, they could be anything, they could be X's, Y's, numbers, combination of those, and a power, in this case a power of 4 is what we want. Now if we expand this, we will get different elements to the expansion. It's important to realise that the expansion will contain expressions, each of which has three elements. When you create any binomial expansion, be aware that the three elements that you've got to consider are a coefficient, a power of A, and a power of B. You need to consider that each time. The nice thing about this is there are clear and easy patterns. When we start looking for the coefficients for our expansion, the quickest and easiest way to find the coefficients is to look at Pascal's triangle. The first line, the first one, represents the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is one. The next line, a power of one. Then a power of two. A power of three. These are the coefficients that we look for in these expansions. And Pascal's triangle, that you hopefully can see and have used before, will give us the coefficients quickly and easily. If you can generate the pattern, you can generate your coefficients. So we look along this, we have a power 0 at the top, a power 1, a power 2, a power 3, and the one we're interested in are these coefficients on this line, for the expansion to a power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. I'm quite simply going to write my coefficients into the expansion. Notice it's symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way round I do these expansions. Now for my powers of A, once again, very easy because there is a clear pattern. The powers of A start at 4 and count down. The zero power will always give me one. And my powers of B do exactly the opposite. If A is counting down, B is counting up. Notice the sum of the powers in all the expressions will always be four. Three and one, two and two, this one zero and four. So the powers will always add to four. A's count down, B counting up. Symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way round. I write it down. Those three elements will help me make a binomial expansion for any particular expression. Pascal's triangle is very nice for those coefficients, but of course if you need higher powers, you don't want to be writing row after row after row after row. For this, you'll need to know how to use your calculator to get exactly the same answers on your calculator. If we just have a quick look, the coefficients on your calculator can be found very easily. If you look at your option menu, option, top line next to shift, scroll along, you will see probability. Coefficients are all about combinations. Combinations is the C rather than coefficients. And if we press probability, we will see NCR. Four. NCR naught, that's our first one. 4 NCR 1, that'll be our second coefficient. 4 NCR 2 and 1, 4, 6, no surprises here. If we pick out our 4, that's always our power. NCR 3, 4 and 4 Four, one. One, four, six, four, one. 
starting at zero, count starts at zero once again, and we can get those coefficients off our calculator with our NCRR combinations button. Back to our original question. We have an A, we have a B, and we have a power. The coefficients I'm going to write down as 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. The A, which is 3x, I'm going to start with 4th power and count down. Remember to put the 3 inside the bracket. The 3 takes the power as well, that's often forgotten. And the power 0, I'm writing it in, but that's just going to be 1. My powers of B, in this case 2y, start at 0, that's going to be 1 again. And of course we know the powers will always give a total of 4. So we have, notice the 2 is inside the bracket once again, not to be forgotten. We simply need to put all this together to create our binomial expansion. We have 1, 3x to the power 4, that's going to give me 81, 3 to the power 4, and x to the power 4. The power naught will give me 1, I'm not going to write that. We've got 4 multiplied by 3x cubed, 3 cubed, 27, and the x cubed, the 2 to the power 1, y, 6, we have 3 squared, which is 9, x squared, and we have 4, y squared, we have 4 times 3 times 8, that's the 2 cubed, y cubed, and finally we have the 1 times 2 to the power 4 is 16, y to the power 4, the 3 to the x to the power 0 once again is just 1. Piece all this together and we should have our answer. 81x to the power 4, which we were expecting from the part of the answer we were given. Verify this next part is 216x cubed y. 6 times 9 times 4. Once again, 216. This time x squared, y squared. Our next one, 4 times 3 times 8, we have 96 x, y cubed, and finally 16 y to the power of 4. And we've completed our binomial expansion for 3x plus 2y to the 4. Three elements to each part of the expansion, a coefficient from your calculator or Pascal's triangle, powers of A, in this case 3x, which decrease, and powers of B, 2y in this case, which increase. Of course, we don't always have to do all the expansion, and quite often we may well find that we are being asked to create part of the expansion rather than all of it. For example, this question. Here we have uh, 5a plus b to the power 7. Now we know when we create the expansion for this that there will be three elements, a coefficient, a power of 5a, the a in this case, and the power of b. We know that we are after an a cubed and a b to the 4. To do this, we must have the 5a cubed and the b to the power 4. Notice 3 and 4, that's the 7, the total power again. The coefficients, now we could write out seven layers of Pascal's triangle, or we could simply go to our calculator and look for a coefficient which would be using the NCR button and of course power 7 
which of the coefficients. Now rather neatly here, the because it's symmetrical, either the 3 or the 4, 7c3 or 7c4 will both give me the correct answer. Cannot go wrong. Choose 1. I'm going to choose 7c3. On my calculator then, 7c3, let me have a look. 7 NCR 3, 35, I'll just verify, 7 C 4, 35 as well, can't go wrong. So the part of my expansion that I'm looking for, the 3 and the 4, those give me the correct powers, 3 and 4 adding up to 7, a power of 7 in my expansion. The coefficient power of 7 and either 7c3 or 7c4 either of the powers that I've taken because of the symmetry will give me the correct answer Pascal's triangle might be a way to check that if you're unsure we now need to just piece all this together we have 35 multiplied by 125 remember the 5 takes the power as well it's again often forgot a cubed b to the power 4 so that part of the binomial expansion that I'm after 35 times a 125 should give me 4 3 7 5 with an a cubed and a b to the power 4 so I haven't done the whole expansion what I've done is I've used the patterns and I've picked out a certain part of that expansion